Next, what's best for your learning? Well, a quick bio break, at least every couple of hours. Some people have claimed that the optimum learning time for focus is as high as 40 minutes. Others technically say it's only 20 minutes. Of course, it's dependent on your age and your brain and your ability to concentrate and all those sorts of things. You've got to figure out what's best for you. And the advantage is with that online learning, you can hit pause. If you find yourself drifting, hit pause, take a walk, get up and do calisthenics, do a jumping jack, uh, and, and then come back and always commit to come right back uh, and continue and when you're going to come back. But do what's right for you. This isn't the same for everyone. There are good averages and tips and recommendations here, but you've got to figure out what works best for you. Uh, as I said, five to six days straight would be terrific because you would get through all of this and I'm sure you'd have great understanding and retention with that level of focus. One hour per day is the absolute minimum. Um, I don't think you're going to have the kind of retention and success if you stretch it out over that long. And, and as I said, if you drift, just hit replay, hit pause. Don't miss the information because it is very dense. And uh, some people have called the boot camp a fire hose in the mouth. I would estimate there are three to five times more information content per hour than your typical seminar. Uh, and I always compare it to a uh, protein powder as opposed to popcorn. And it's a lot more fun to eat popcorn, but you're going to get a lot more benefit from the protein, protein powder, right? So figure out what works best for you in your situation. Um, what I recommend is that each course is 40 to 120 minutes, and that's the hard yin and yang. And you may want to digest that. You might want to think about it in the context of your business. You might want to pause, take notes. You might even want to stop and say, hey, I want to sleep on this relative to my business before I move into the next course because I want to think through what this means for my business today. But allow additional time. It's not just the video. It's the, the testing, the thinking, the note-taking, and everything else. Pause and take notes and star the ideas in the slide deck that you think are going to be most valuable to you and your business. And as you get to the end of a course, you're then going to fill in your $1 million one-year business plan and it will make it easy that you've starred those in the notes to come back and prioritize those because you're going to get so many ideas. There's no way you're going to remember everything unless you've got a photographic memory uh, it, by the time you get to the uh, end of the boot camp. Take quizzes when they're available. They'll only be a few minutes. And what they'll do is they'll emphasize key points and test your learning. And you're only going to get the certificate if you take those quizzes and get a 70% on at least 80% of the courses or the material. Um, some material we consider optional, uh, but you'll have to complete 80% of the coursework with a passing score on the quizzes to be eligible to get the Masters of Business Acceleration Certificate. We don't want people just sending in their money and claiming they have that, obviously. That would degrade the value of it and probably make it worthless in the marketplace and on your, your resume. Although as an entrepreneur, if you're successful, you'll never need a resume again. Fill out the $1 million business plan at the end. Ideally, spend a few minutes, three to five minutes reviewing the slides. And I found the best time to do that might be when you're coming back and you're fresh. Take a quick look, just glance through the slides and the concepts from the previous course before you take the next course. I'm going to show you some of the, the science that says that greatly increases retention shortly. Um, take notes, and, and I would recommend referencing the course name and the slide number, as well as those slides in your notes, and that way you'll come back. Because what you want to do is print off all these slides, bind them into a binder, and that will be your CEO manual for life. And you'll easily be able to go back and use these tools when you're hitting challenges. I've literally had people say to me after uh, a, a one weekend boot camp that they got on the plane and solved problems that they had been struggling with for years 
because the tools allowed them to tease apart those problems and approach them logically and solve them very rapidly. So this is going to be very valuable, not just one time, but for your entire career as an entrepreneur and, and a CEO. And, and, and I like to say here that uh, you, you may not love me by the end of this. I'm going to give you a lot of challenges, a lot of abstract thinking, and a lot of material. But if you do it right and you make that commitment, you're going to be hugely successful right up there in the top five or 10 percent of entrepreneurs with this toolbox and understanding of it at your disposal. Uh, now, also embedded in some of the courses, there's a lot of philosophy, there's art and there's psychology. Um, some of that stuff can't be taught. It's learned by experience. Right. And. And I put in some quotes. You'll see some little music videos that go over quotes that are relevant to ponder and think about that might expand your thinking from just the basic information and facts to the philosophy that works best, that's underpinning a lot of areas of business like culture and management. These things are art more than they're science, and you can only get really good at them by practicing them. We'll also have a workshop or exercise when appropriate for some of the courses. And at the end of the whole CEO boot camp, you're going to get access to a workshop and be able to work with other people. We'll have online group coaching sessions to go over those and be coming up with other mechanisms to, to share and enhance that. Depending on what package you buy from the CEO boot camp, you may get some one on one time with me or some group coaching time with me when you'll be able to have my brain kind of blinking on your business problems and, and looking at your solutions to see how I might be able to creatively enhance those from all my three decades of practice using these tools. Um, it's important to burn it into your brain. And as I said, we're going to show you some of the science of that momentarily. Take five minutes after each session. Don't walk away and let that session be forgotten without updating your $1 million business plan for the next year. Um, some legal notes and disclaimers. Um, the slides are designed to become a manual. You can print them off. You can keep them. Uh, you can use these to save on your disk and, and you can print the models and use those only for your personal use and within your own entrepreneurial business. Obviously, these materials are copyrighted. You should never send them or share them with others or post them on the internet. Uh, we will go after you if we find out people are doing that because this has taken me 30 years to develop and I don't want people uh, giving them away and putting them out there. And the reality is, Without the training behind them, the tools are not that valuable. So obviously there's federal laws and you're going to learn about this in the intellectual property section too, that protect copyrights and they're good for 99 years, way better than a patent. So take a few minutes now and write down your goals for the seminar. This is always a good exercise going into something that's a big commitment like this. You can put this on a blank piece of paper. You might have three, you might have six, you might have 10 or 20 that you want to list. And, and we'll benchmark as you go through the course, whether you're achieving those. The reality is you may not know all the things to write down. And this, you look at this at the end of the boot camp, and you're probably going to be blown away by how much more you've been able to accomplish in your learning an understanding of advanced business and entrepreneurship and leadership and management and all of these uh, tools that you're going to, to learn. So here's the science I referred to a bit in the research on learning. And you can see from this, and you know, pause the screen and study it for a minute, that hearing a lecture only has about 5% retention. Reading, for some reason, maybe because it's audio and visual and you're a little more focused reading, less distractions in a crowd of a lecture, only has about 10% retention. But when you do audio visual, it doubles to 20%. When you 
um, do demonstrations, which sort of means interactive that forces your attention. I think in this context, you're, you're up to, to 30%. So that's now six times more retention if you do demonstrations than you would have in a lecture. And, you know, audio, obviously we're doing audio visual from the start. And that has the advantage of being able to replay it and pause it when you're, you're drifting and all those sorts of things. And then when you get into group discussion practice, we see 50% to 75% retention. So what, essentially what this means is, you know, the courses are the foundation, but the interactive part, the quizzes and the Q&A sessions and the exercises really drive about three to four times more retention than just the courses themselves. So that sort of speaks for itself. And that's why I'm emphasizing review the slides to burn them into your memory further. Be sure to do all the exercises and quizzes. Um, they're there for a reason and they will uh, greatly increase your attention. Managing expectations. A lot of this is experiential learning. You'll have to use these tools. As I like to say, you know, I can give you a hammer, but it doesn't make you a fine wood craftsman, right? Having the tools doesn't necessarily mean you're good at using the tools. You've got to do that practice, and that means experiential learning. Now, you shouldn't expect to understand everything as it's coming. The pieces of the courses will all come together, sort of like baking a cake or building a bridge, you're really not going to be able to cross that bridge or eat that cake until the process is complete. And there probably will be sort of a magic moment when it all makes sense to you and those diagrams that I showed you will, will come together and you'll be like Neo in the Matrix saying, oh, now I get it. And when you have to practice, like me, you'll be able to run these models and tools in your head in seconds, not hours or minutes or weeks, to update and pivot and adjust your business based on new information and learning coming in. But that's not to say, you know, lights will be going off all along the way. You're going to be going, wow. And, and some things you're going to say, you know, I sort of knew that, but I didn't know how and I didn't see it structured and the checklist and, uh, you know, and, and other things you'll be saying. Hey, how come I never thought of that? That's amazing. And I'm glad I learned it. And it's going to be very valuable. So there'll be a lot of those aha moments as you go through the course. And if you're already working on a business, some of those solutions are going to come to you just through this learning and your subconscious percolating on this as you feed it the tools into your conscious mind. That's just how the brain works. Um, over time, as you practice them, You'll cycle through them in minutes and, and, as I said, maybe even seconds in some cases uh, to use them against a given business. Uh, and when used together, you will see a dramatic increase. I hate to sound hypey like an Internet marketer or someone selling a hot stock. But the reality is, I believe this is the best training for entrepreneurs and CEOs in the world today. And of course, I haven't taken them all, but I have seen the results and I have studied them and I know what's out there. And I'm often talking to people that came through incubator programs or MBA programs and even some of the best uh, entrepreneurship programs. And I'm constantly amazed that they don't know half of the material that you're going to take away from the CEO boot camp. So I can pretty much guarantee you that if you complete this and do what's recommended here in this session of how to take the boot camp, you are going to become a business ninja <laughs>